over the door. It's your boy Lou from the Lou. What's happening? What's going on with everybody? Hope everybody having the blessed day as they can today. I know times is hard. Times is rough. It's all fucked up. You know? You know every day we get up and we do the same shit and get out here and try to make something happen. And the motherfucker always in your goddamn way stopping you of continuing your path your destiny your life your mission everything you had planned everything you thought of you thought you was gonna do it's always something somebody in the way stopping you with that man i'm so mad about the little brother being shot in minnesota just like half of america is and if you ain't upset then you ain't got no goddamn soul flat out like we all know what the fuck happened, and I and I I didn't want to talk about it when it happened, man, because I, it was affecting me in a whole other way. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that happens, it, it hits me a whole other way. It, it's not just like you know how people look at it, another black man killed by police. It's, it's not just that, you know, because this is a these people become family, you know. When, when we lose people by the hands of police, they literally become family. Um, so it's not just the impact of what happens, it's the impact of what happens after. Man, I don't wanna hear nothing about no taser and what you thought. I don't want you to put, I don't want this lady to put no new narrative on killing us and using an excuse as I thought it was my taser now. You know, I thought he had a gun. I was feared for my life. I thought it was my taser. You know, I don't, I'm not blaming nobody. I, I don't know what that woman was thinking, but I know what she wasn't doing. She wasn't acting in a, in a, in a rightful, common sense manner. I mean, it's a whole lot of it's a whole lot of shit to go to. This is a big ass puzzle and a whole lot of intertwining pieces. Because first we talk about all this police training that they supposedly get, but they do the most fucked up shit that the criminal can do when the criminal know he can get away with it. You know what I'm saying? If I know the judge is my uncle, the DA is my cousin. If I know this shit and I commit crimes, I'ma get off. You see what I'm saying? So the police are protected by damn near every fucking shield of protection they can have. I don't want to go with this narrative that they know or they didn't know it was the wrong weapon. We're not finna do that. We're not finna play these games. Because as I heard, they just spent $12 million on police training. And I don't understand how you spend so much money training somebody. And when they train people, I believe 80% of the training is to use physical force. And maybe so little percentage, maybe 2 to 3% is used for communication skills. That's why the police don't fucking know how to talk to you when they roll up on you. They talk to you like... They fucking brought you in this world because it's proven they can take you out, no doubt. But these motherfuckers be on your ass like that's that that's 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 the whole fucking psychic mentality of the ass. We try to talk so bad to you, make you not even feel like a man or a human being no more. You know what I'm saying? Then they got this gun on their hip to intimidate you. On top of that, they got this radio to call up, back up. 44 motherfuckers with more guns on their hips and now these motherfuckers when the police call for backup they come with the rifles and shit they be on the rack right there behind them like god damn you pulling me over for a traffic ticket or a goddamn traffic warrant and you finna swat my ass and that's how they get down you spend all this money on training and don't train a motherfucker how to do their fucking job what the fuck you do with the 12 million dollars and if you put the gun on your strong side, like they say, why, 
why would you use your strong arm to reach for something to get? I mean, if you notice, if you're being trained to, hey, your weak side is your weak arm, that's the side your taser is on. Okay, remember that. Now, why would you use the, what? This, I'm not I'm not fully understanding these fucked up mentalities the police be having. And why the fuck you need all this money to train to go out here and do the wrong thing? I didn't know you need to be trained to how to talk to them up. Didn't, he, didn't police grow up with families and don't they got kids and shit? They don't know how to talk to people. I be watching movies and police be drinking birds and having barbecues and shit. They be carrying on grand old conversations. But when they pull us over, they already got this preconceptive mind that we got drugs, that we got guns, that we on the run, that we owe somebody some money, that the police looking for us, that we got tickets, that we dirty, we in the game. You know, they already got their mind made up when they pull us over, when they get to the car. So when you see them walk up to the car looking like Wild Wild West, that's what they thinking. They thinking your black ass got a weapon on you and you might pull it out and shoot me. I mean, because four, five days ago, a motherfucker did jump out the whip and get the dumping on their ass, but I don't think he was black. You see what I'm saying? I don't think he was black. So you can't use this whole narrative of I thought it was my stun gun and you grabbed the whole pistol. You didn't see that black clock aimed at that young brother when you pulled it out? You didn't see that? What was you looking at? I'm sure they feel like two different items in your hand. You can't say one feel like this and one feel like that. If they both got a trigger, then they need to change that. But you, if you if you spend $12 million to train somebody, they should know what side to reach for the weapon. You should know, they know how to use them cuffs. They sure know how to bust them goddamn guns. So what the fuck is the training for? They didn't pay how much did they pay for us to go to school? Shit. I can remember that stupid ass shit. But you motherfuckers get trained to do what? Ride around, do 100 miles per hour with guns and shoot niggas. And then on top of that, now I don't even think they supposed to be high speed chasing. You know what I'm saying? Let's get these laws and shit understood. Because there's so many loopholes in these laws that they be trying to get through every fucking one. But I know that when I read my bills and amendments and my laws and shit, I don't think they supposed to be doing no high speed chasing in certain cities and states. And St. Louis got that bad because St. Anne to chase your ass from the fucking airport all the way to Illinois and you let you crash and kill your motherfucking self. And another thing, when the police chasing you and you hit somebody and they die, isn't that also the police fault? Because they created the chase? For you to run in the first place, they not supposed to see this is the whole concept y'all understand. If we in the car, right? If we in the car, uh-huh, and somebody get hit, uh-huh, everybody in the car gonna get a charge. Especially if it's something going on. So if the police is chasing somebody and somebody fuck around and get hit because of the person they chasing hit them, I believe that that's the police fault. Because they putting this intimidation and scurrying this person to make them drive fast and try to get away if they wrong or not. You know what that mean? The police have to stop and come back and get their ass another motherfucking day. Flat the fuck out. Flat the fuck out. This shit don't make no sense. It makes no motherfucking sense. And it keeps happening. It keeps motherfucking happening. And it's a lot more shit tied to that. A lot of shit. And she was training somebody that day. How can you be training somebody and you kill somebody? Is that what you're training them to do? Because you did an excellent job. We got to get this shit together. And not just we. And when I say we, I mean the motherfucking people. Not just the black people. I'm talking about every goddamn body. Quit all the bullshit. Quit all the scamming, man. These people need to quit all the scamming and all the goddamn lies. We know what's going on. Y'all trying to kill us. Send her to jail. She got to do something. She got to do something, man. She's she going to have to sit down for a little while for this. I don't appreciate that. That brother ain't did nothing. So what? If he had a warrant, so what? Catch him another day. You know what he look like? You can catch him another day. God damn. Rest in peace, Dante. Rest in peace, brother. Rest in peace. It's your boy Lou Fun Lou, man. Holla at me.